This is the November administration report. A few different things to report on. Uh, first off, resignations. We've had two resignations. Brandy Benson is the food service director and Sophia Cecilio as the district paraprofessional. Sophia is moving on and um, going to be doing some healthcare work and we wish her well. And Brandy, we're hoping to see her back um, soon and working in the district. She's done a great job. So we both we wish them both well. And we have a lot of people we wanted to recognize. Citizens of the Week, we can read through those. And we have some parents and community members. A, a big thank you to the, tr the Troy Track Committee for the Halloween walk. We had several, many, many, many people showed up. Uh, about 200 people uh, showed up and walked the track. And we made over $8,000 thanks to all the generous donations and those who participated. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sam Shoup for their constant support for our athletes and our programs that we have. Uh, and we have a, several people to recognize from our staff. Emily Ruffer, she completed her library endorsement. A big thank you to her for doing that and uh, congratulations for her too. We'd also like to thank Lana Boss, Sarah Gennard, Trish Hall, and Jalen Myers and Robin Widgeway, all of their great work in helping us ensure that our school operates effectively and going out of their way to build relationships with students. So we thank them for that. One thing to report on at the elementary school this past month is we had uh, Kelly come and do a fiddle program for our students. He came out of Oregon, did four days, and they were able to do a short presentation. And uh, the students really enjoyed getting to learn the fiddle and, and learn some different uh, musical um, songs that they were able to present. Also, we had on Halloween, we had uh, our science guy. He sent us some science equipment, some science activities, and he trained some high school students over Zoom. And then we presented those on the afternoon of Halloween. So they were making zombie slime and doing all sorts of fun stuff that were science-based, fun, and really engaging. So uh, thanks to all the high school students and participating in that. At the high school, a lot of different activities going on. Uh, and let's see, the first thing just wanted to report on uh, Mr. Morris and doing a great job and taking our civic students over. I was, this was on a Friday when we didn't have school in session and he was able to take several students over to watch the ballot counter certification and make sure, um, you know, all of their questions were answered that were related to that. So I uh, thought that was really neat. And then also you can go by uh, on Mineral Avenue, uh, Mr. Thill and Mr. McClellan are working with are heavy equipment students and they are learning how to run an excavator. They're learning how to stack rocks on top of each other. Um, this is a job site, a real job site that uh, they're working on. Um, I don't think they're actually doing any specific of the digging, but they're learning how uh, this all operates, these different pieces of equipment. So it's a great class and I'd like to thank Mr. Thill and Mr. McClellan for that their excellent work. Uh, is maintenance and transportation report there? Uh, you can open up and, and look at the softball shed design that we're looking at doing. This would be over, obviously, by the softball field where it has some bathrooms and also places to change. We've been staying busy with transportation and maintenance, and now, as you can see, snow's coming, and so they're going to be spending a lot of time with that, too. Some district-wide reports. The first is uh, any board member or administrator or educator that wants to be part of the Northwest Montana Association of School Superintendents, um, they are hosting an education legislative session summit. So if any of you would like to attend that, it's over in Kalispell on Wednesday, the 30th, they'll be talking to um, state representatives and talking about what might be coming up for this next legislative session. So they'll have a lot of different topics to, to focus on. You can talk to our state leaders there at that meeting also. So if you're interested, please let me know. Also, safety and security. We had a safety evaluation by Secure Educational Consultants out of Michigan. And I did a little summary here of what they wrote and then some of the things that they are encouraging us to work on. Uh, we will get into this a little bit more in detail for board members in an executive session um, at this, this coming board meeting. But a huge thanks to our police department, especially our school resource officer, Henry Roy, and then our maintenance director, Keith Haggerty, for making sure that our facilities are equipped with the tools that we need to keep them safe and secure and Officer Henry for going around and being present and uh, just being overall 
helping us in, in evaluating um, our facilities. Uh, again, I think I reported on this last time, we have a new website and an app. They're gonna be coming out here pretty soon once we fine tune everything and they're ready to launch. So uh, stay, stay tuned for the, the next launch, for the launch date. Also, we have um, some community involvement and different things that we that I wanted to report on. The first is our work sessions. I've presented this to the board in the past. You can see the different topics that we want to focus on. Um, and one thing that I wanted to include on here, and this will be one of the discussion items, is we talked about doing the superintendent evaluation, not the entire evaluation, but maybe a piece of it or a section of it a few times throughout the year. So we can assess instead of once a year, it could be throughout the year. So this is what the topics would include. Um, and so in November, we're gonna be looking at policies 1000 through 4000, and then looking at the superintendent evaluation. I think this time we'll just be looking at the tool, but in the future we could be looking at and, and, and conducting the that section of the evaluation at that time. We have some community fun nights. We're doing some Christmas concerts. So stay tuned on the dates and times for that. And January, March, and May, we have some other fun activities. And then lastly, uh, we've been waiting for a date and time for our board training. It'll take place on January 9th from four to six. We're going to try to do this face-to-face. -face. Uh, if the roads are clear, uh, Elizabeth Calavo will be able to uh, be here face-to-face. -face. If not, we will be doing it over Zoom. So put that on your calendars, board members, and we will see you at that training. And as always, if anyone, board members, community members, staff members, if you have any questions about anything on the administrative report or the, the board agenda, please let me know. And thanks.